Hey everybody, Lunch Bill here. We're playing Diablo 3 today. We got our mage on the go. We've been picking away offline. We're at level 142, it says. I'm doing a full just dis disintegrate move only spec. And every one of my other moves are just here to uh, give me more arcane power. Yeah. And our disintegrate bubble, basically. Uh, yeah, and I think we're gonna tr our gear. Right, we don't really have. Uh, we have a few good rings. I can see this being end game. The bracers. Other than that, we don't really have that great of gear. And we're gonna try level forty two. So I pop in and make sure I buff right away, and then I just hold R two. The whole point of me playing Diablo, I just want to make it as simple as I can. Pressing different buttons all the time is really difficult for me. So I just get in a point and I shoot. We're doing fairly well, all things considering. Definitely would love to get me a pair of Nemesis Bracers though. One thing I can recommend with the disintegrate though is just try and keep everybody in front of you. Kind of tripped over myself there because I was scratching my shoulder and then I realized I was in an explosion range. What's really good about this though is we're probably going to get like five levels just from clearing this greater rift. I'd like to check these corners. Sometimes they have pylons. My X move, I'm still kind of experimenting with it. I got Hydra's up now. I know, let me know down in the comments if I should try a different button or a move to put in for X. I was thinking like teleport and all that, but nah. Uh, maybe Archeon or whatever that move is called. I sh should know the name for this stuff. I played this game enough. I can't change my moves, right? I'm in a greater riff. Kinda gone quiet here, just cause there's a lot of enemies. I mean, but as you've seen, like with the bubble spec, we haven't had our bubble go away yet. Which is really the goal. Oh yeah, because this spec, here's the big thing with this spec. I've been using Squirt's necklace a lot. So with the bubbles, I'm not taking damage and I should get that 100% damage increase. Oh, and we're doing like Legacy of Dreams, but I don't know how long we'll do that for. I might switch to something different. As I said in the other video though, this is probably going to be our only character this season. It's not like I don't like Diablo. It's I've been playing a lot of Diablo 3 since the release on the PlayStation 3. So that would have been like six years ago. I just don't want to get too burnt out. They don't really change that much from each season, I find. It's only been like the last couple seasons they've been really focusing on not changing the weapons, but like changing the gear to give different buffs, like Echoing Furry. I don't think ever put anybody into a frenzy last season. Right now, I think when you kill somebody, you just get like a little frenzy buff. It increases your speed, attack speed.
Great. It's going really well. I think I'll probably be at Torment 10 for a bit because my damage output isn't as high as it needs to be. And you're thinking, wow, you're really clearing through enemies now and this is almost Torment 10, but... I did a little bit of Torment 10 yesterday and... They really have a really big health pool. You just put it like that. And I don't think there's... I mean, our gear's okay. It's not that great, but... I'm sure if we were, like, Paragon level 300 or 350 by now... We would probably be doing really well at Torment 10. But we're not there yet. But, I mean, when you're getting five levels per instance run... Instance, man. Listen to me talk, uh... Greater Rift Run. It's pretty easy to get there quick. I mean, see, this has been six minutes, and... All you need to do is farm keys. You could probably clear... It's just to be safe. That's three... Maybe five of these in an hour? Am I doing my math right? Yeah, five would be six. Six, I guess. No more than six, though. You gotta account for your bathroom breaks, drinking Mountain Dew, and eating all those Doritos chips. The old ones with Wonder Woman on the front. I've been seeing those bags of chips for years, it seems like. I still don't want to take any damage that I don't have to take. I mean, we did lose one of our bubbles. One of our bubbles are from uh, this one here, Galvanizing Wiz or Ward. It only works if you kill enemies. You get a bubble. You get a bubble when you kill somebody. I'm just leveling up the gems. I need to go back. And I can't remember what level we started at. Maybe 143? I don't know. But 146, here we go. 151. That's awesome. I can't afford that. We we'll just quickly spend our points, and I'll take a look at the gear that dropped. I don't think anything caught our eye. I'm just looking for orange pants. I don't like green pants with this spec. I don't think there's any orange pants that are specifically designed for a wizard. Ooh. This is something that'll probably be worth experimenting with. Petrol blade attacks 50% faster. In my belt, your signatures. So I could get a 100% attack speed increase on Spectral Blade? That'd be interesting. That'd be worth experimenting. Maybe if I remember, we'll do that for the next video and just do a run with it. Ah, uh, Arcane Orb, yeah. What was that one? That's interesting. That's really interesting. Yeah, so that's it. If you like what you see, guys, please give me a thumb up on the video. Subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments about Diablo 3. Have you played it? It's your favorite game. I hate it, but here I am, eight years later, still playing the game. Anyways, thanks again for watching.